Welcome to Florida International University Department of Biomedical Engineering and the Prasad Lab for Materials Research, hosted by Dr. Anamika Prasad. In this video, we'll be covering the steps in the synthesis of single-layer Maxine Flake, which starts with the etching process of our Max Phase Powder. Start by weighing out one gram of titanium aluminum carbide, and we're gonna combine that with 12 milliliters of hydrochloric acid and two milliliters of hydrofluoric acid. Now it's very important that you have your hydrofluoric acid spill kit nearby, as well as your hydrofluoric acid safety gear on hand. Additionally, hydrofluoric acid is an etching agent to glass beakers. Therefore, the use of high density polyethylene bottles is highly suggested. Next, on a temperature controlled mixing plate, combine six milliliters of water with 12 milliliters of hydrochloric acid and two milliliters of hydrofluoric acid, as well as our one gram of max phase powder. This is to be spun at 350 RPM for 24 hours in a water temperature controlled bath at approximately 35 degrees Celsius. Distribute this solution amongst an even number of centrifuge tubes, filling no more than 25%, and diluting the rest with water, and then spinning for 10 minutes at 2550 G. The resulting solution will have both a supernet and a multi layer maxine. Decant the supernet for all the tubes and repeat this process three to four times. The purpose of washing is to remove all the unreacted acid from the multi-layer maxine. After washing three to four times, test the pH level of the supernet and ensure that its pH is between six and seven, as seen here. In our final step, we'll be separating our multi-layer maxine into single-layer maxine flake in a process known as delamination. After redistributing our multi-layer maxine flake in water, we will transfer the contents of our centrifuge tubes to a plastic beaker and then diluting up to 40 milliliters. As mentioned before, our delaminating reagent will be lithium chloride and for that we'll be measuring out approximately 1.1 grams. This will be combined with 10 milliliters of water in a plastic bottle on a stirring plate with the 40 milliliter solution of multi-layer maxine flake diluted with water. This will be spun at 350 RPM for approximately 18 hours. We will then repeat a step similar to washing where we transfer the solution into centrifuge tubes and spin at 250 G for approximately 15 minutes and repeat the process of decanting the clear supernet. We will do this approximately three to four times until we receive a supernet that has a cloudy dispersion in it, as you can see here. This supernet can be categorized as fully delaminated single layer Maxine flake, which you can see here in a liquid solution. After vacuum filtration and air drying, we were able to obtain a solution of single layer Maxine flake that can be stored in the refrigerator for approximately three to six months for further evaluation and testing. 